Okay, we're going to look at number two in section 3.1 and work to compute the derivative of the function here, f of x, and this should be similar to the function you have, at the point x equal 9. Okay, so again, these numbers could be slightly different for your problem. Now, be real careful. They don't give instructions, but this is section 3.1. So in finding the derivative, we're using the limit definition of the derivative at a point. So there's there was two given. This is the limit definition. There's also the alternative definition, but this is the one we're going to use in this problem. And so notice the value of A, right? We're finding it at uh, 9. So the value of a here is going to be 9. So when I plug in 9 into my derivative formula, I've got the limit as h goes to 0, f of 9 plus h minus f of 9 divided by h. So this is how I'm going to find the derivative. Of course, here's my function. So what is f of 9? First of all, that's pretty easy. Just plug in 9 in for x, and I get, computing all that out, 441 we plug in 9 into the function. So input 9, output 441. What about f of 9 plus h? Well, wherever I see an x, I'm going to replace it with 9 plus h. So be careful. This is 5 times the quantity 9 plus h squared plus 4 times the quantity 9 plus h. So just replacing f of 9 plus h with this thing, I put that in the brackets, minus f of 9, which is 441. Notice these uh, two uh, lines horizontal one over another. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with that, but that's called an equal sign. And we generally put equal signs between things that are equal. Okay, so make sure we're including an equal sign when we're showing every step in the limit definition. And notice the limit has to continue, right? The limit has to be here. We can't lose the limit. It's incorrect to say that this limit is equal to this stuff without the limit. That would be incorrect. So it's the limit as h goes to zero of this stuff. Now it's just a matter of simplifying this because if I plug in h equals zero, I get zero over zero. You can go ahead and do that and confirm. But we've got to simplify again. That indeterminate form means we've got some work to do, not that the limit does not exist. So let's do the work. Uh, we're going to expand all this out and then simplify the numerator by combining like terms. So 9 plus h quantity squared, make sure you understand that that is 81 plus 18h plus h squared, not 81 plus h squared. You just can't square the 9 and square the h. Remember, 9 plus h squared is 9 plus h times 9 plus h. So you have to foil that out, if you will. Um, so now we distribute the 5. So be careful about that, right? Multiply each of these things by 5, and then multiply the 4 times the 9 and the 4 by the h. And here's what I get, 5 times 81. 5 times 18h, 5 times h squared, 4 times 9, 36, 4 times h. And don't forget the minus 441. Okay, so I just expanded all that out. Now I combine like terms. 405 plus 36 is 441 minus 441. That's zero. So the constant terms go away. I've got a 5h squared, and then 90h plus 4h is 94h. So the numerator simplifies down just to that. So that's good. All right. Still, if I try and plug in h equals 0, I get 0 over 0. Well, notice up top, that means I have a factor of h. And we can see that. Both terms here have a factor of h. So I'm going to factor that h out, leaving a 5h plus 94. Now h divided by h is 1. And so I'm looking at the limit as h goes to 0 of 5h plus 94, which is continuous at h equals 0. So now I can plug in directly, and I get, of course, 94. So that's the way we evaluate uh, and find the derivative at a point using the limit definition. On the test, this is what I'm looking for for support. Okay, You have to show all these steps clearly. right? And um, as we go on further in the course, we'll be learning the differentiation rules, which will make this process a little quicker. But this is what we want to start with. Okay, hope this is helpful.